welcome back. It is my first day here in Kuala Lumpur and I am staying with a really good friend, one of my really good friends from couch surfing when I first came here in 2014. And he is AJ. Yo. He has had <laughs> 545 surfers here at his place. I think he is like the number one couch surfing host in no, Kuala Lumpur. It's just one he, of them. He is amazing. He has been become a good friend of mine for the last couple of years. So every time I come to Kuala Lumpur, I come stay with AJ. And he's a pleasure to host, fun, <laughs> lots of stories to share, and I'll welcome him back over and over again. He's like my KL uncle. Daddy. <laughs> Daddy. <laughs> he's my uncle. <laughs> I've stayed in AJ's probably a total of five times the last three years. Amazing guy. He usually hosts a few people at a time. Right now it's pretty quiet, but this is the main living area. Up there is the front porch with the hammocks. That's where a lot of hangouts happen. A lot of us all hang out there. Everything on the walls here, guys, are from surfers that have stayed with him. Everything. So even some of these shells, someone gave him this here. Some people have actually done paintings of AJ. He looks amazing. I love all of these. New Zealand, Auckland. This is one of my favorites. Love, kiss, hug, what else? So I'm not the only surfer here right now. This is Um. Um. And where and Um is from Egypt. Egypt. He is from Egypt. Really cool guy. How many times have you been at AJ's? Yeah, like eleven times. Eleven times. We're like we're like a family here. It's it's really, really cool. cool. <laughs> Brother. Brother, he's everything. I have just entered the central market here in Kuala Lumpur. I've been here every time I've come to Kuala Lumpur, which this is my fourth visit. First time was in 2014. I love the market here. This time I'm on a mission, so there's one thing that I'm looking for in particular, and that is a doll. So if you guys have been following me for a while, you know that every country, I get a doll for my mom. My mom collects dolls, so from Kazakhstan, Russia. Russia was one of my favorite dolls, that porcelain doll. Here in Malaysia, I still need to get her a doll, so I'm hoping today I will find it here at the Central Market. I found these cute dolls, which I think will be perfect. So I ended up getting her these two blue ones. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Okay. I got my mom these cute little dolls. It's a cute pair of Malaysian dolls. Really cute, something different to add to her collection. Really happy to have found this. One thing that I'm looking for is, do you guys remember when I was in Brunei and one of my couch surfers cousins, Nazim, gave me one of the traditional Malay Brunei um, outfits and I can't remember the name and if you guys are watching in your Malay, uh, please tell me and I will put a little highlight here of the name of it, but I don't, rem I don't remember the name of it right off the bat, but it's like that part of it that like goes around your waist. I need to find one of those. I want to find another one to go with that. So out here, I'm going to look for one. I like it. All right. Thank you. Thank you. So I found a new sarong that is going to match the outfits that Nazim's cousin gave me. So I got it here. Blue is the color. At some point back home, I have no idea when I would wear this back home. Um, but at some point I will wear it and I've got to wear this new one. So I totally forgot that today was Friday because on Fridays is Friday prayer and there were just a lot of people that just came through here that just came from the mosque over here. This mosque over here is one of the more popular or well-known mosques here in Kuala Lumpur. You'll see it especially if you come to the Central Market in this part of Kuala Lumpur. It's really pretty, it's pretty spread out. <laughs> Part of living in Malaysia, right guys? So that looks like, it actually looks like a boa right here at this local Chinese restaurant. Just wandering around, they did a good job catching it, but it was not happy. Three years later guys, and I have made it back to the Petrona Towers. 
Oh, I'm actually stepping where there's usually fountains, so I don't know if I'm supposed to be here. But you can see, to get a perspective, how big these towers are. The Petrona Towers at the moment are the largest twin towers in the world. Huge mall inside as well. Just so surreal to be back here. Good luck trying to get a selfie with the towers with nobody else in it. It is very difficult right now. <laughs> But it's beautiful and you have to come here if you come to Kuala Lumpur. Just met up with my good friend Tyson and we are here at the <laughs> we are here at the Ultima. Oh no, I'm sorry, the one Ultima, which is what? What is what is seventh the, biggest in the world. Shopping one in the world. Seventh largest mall in the world. I had no idea that Malaysia had that. So right now we're gonna go find something to eat and then get some drinks later and catch up. It's been like three years since I've seen this guy. What is your favorite area of this mall? Food. Food. <laughs> <laughs> and Good answer. It's, it's convenient as well because if you want to have, you want to go shopping. There's a lot of branded clothes. Yeah. In here, you can buy everything you want. So I've decided I'm going to get the nasi lamak with fried chicken. Okay. So then I'll just get the chin chow. But you have a soya base. It's tastier. Okay. Okay. I'll get the soy soya one. Yeah. Cold hot for sure. Right? Cold. Yeah. yeah. Hello. I've never actually tried this drink in Malaysia. So it is soy milk or soy milk based. And it kind of almost reminds me of boba, but you don't have the boba, right? No. Nope. So what is this? It's a chin chow. A oh, chin chow, okay. It's something like a jelly that make like by... Like a jelly? Mmm. It's interesting. It's good. It's different. It tastes good, right? <laughs> it is good. That's what matters. <laughs> okay, let's see. Yeah. It's good. Mm. This is Mirabus. Mm. It's, um, it's like a dry curry meat, mm. curry noodle. Okay. So uh, it's a local Malay food and it's very tasty. It's got eggs and some it's spicy. It's spicy. Is it one of your favorites? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. of oh. course. <laughs> okay, bye. Have to say bye to Tyson. Bye bye. Bye, Tyson. Bye. Have fun in Malaysia, by the way. Yes, bye. I will have fun. Malaysia <laughs> is amazing. Good morning guys, it's another beautiful day here in Kuala Lumpur, well, not as beautiful as it was, it was raining earlier. And today I'm heading to one of the most famous places here in Kuala Lumpur, and that is the Batu Caves. Just arrived at K Central. AJ lives pretty far out of the city, but it's really easy to get into the city. From here, I'm gonna transfer to a different train that'll take me directly to the Batu Caves. Almost there. And then here. God, four minutes before the train leaves. You guys, I've got to stop doing this. I did this a lot in Taiwan and China, barely making it in time for trains, but I always make it. You guys, if you come here, expect a lot of pigeons and a lot of monkeys running around. No need to go to a national park like Baco, right? You can just come here. There's monkeys and pigeons everywhere. When I was here in 2015, I don't remember it being this intense with monkeys and pigeons. <laughs> oh, look at it, look at it. It's got a baby. I'm getting up to the cave because I'm kind of over the pigeons. <laughs> The Batu Caves are a series of limestone caves up in the mountain here with several temples and Hindu shrines here and I believe it's one of the largest Hindu shrines outside of India. I've never been to India yet and I definitely want to go to India someday so this is the closest I can get to part of that culture. A lot of the shrines and a lot of the monuments inside the cave are under construction at the moment. So you can see some guys over here working on the ceiling of this one. It still looks really beautiful. I wish it was not under construction, but it still looks beautiful. So when you come here, you have that to look forward to. Nice, freshly painted shrines and monuments inside the Batu Caves. I'll come. Everyone should come. Everybody make a trip there. Taiwan. Yes. It's fun. Yeah. Taiwan, we'll make a big trip. Sure. Okay, right. bye guys. Bye bye. bye, -bye. I will, I will. Okay. Bye guys. Bye. <laughs> and that's it guys, I am off.
Okay guys, I've made it to the TBS station here in Kuala Lumpur. The TBS station is basically the big bus terminal here in Kuala Lumpur. So if you want to go anywhere on the western part of Malaysia, here on the peninsula, come to TBS if you want to go by bus. <sighs> I'm actually not 100% sure exactly where I'm going to be going yet, guys. So I will keep that as a surprise. Kuala Lumpur was amazing. So much fun to see AJ and everybody. And this is definitely a second home here in Southeast Asia. Thanks again for watching and remember to live every moment to the max. I'll see you guys next time.